this project was um, turned out a little different than well, we really just kind of shot stuff and didn't really know what it was going to turn into. But since all the cans were lined up in the same spot, what we ended up doing was cutting it so that they well, why don't I just show you? I've done a lot of product work and you know, the key in my opinion is really the details. Um, you, you have to really dig in with your power windows and your keys. So this clip is a frame. So we don't even have to um, adjust the tracking for this, but let's look at the initial correction. So let's bring this down, bring this up and my scopes are telling me that it's too warm. So I'm going to fix that. Looks better already. Just the black balance. Much better. So that's where we were. This is where we are. All right, you can tell that the front of this can is quite a bit darker than maybe it should be. Uh, you really want that those graphics to pop out. And the reason this happened is because lighting metal is really tough. Um, and anywhere you shine a light, you're going to get a reflection. So what I did was put some lights on the sides to get these nice lines here to sort of reveal the form and shape of it. We sprayed down the can to give it some texture and make it feel refreshing. And now we're going to bring out the front to make it pop. Okay, so starting with the white here of the can, let's try and dive into that. So not a bad key, not bad at all. Let's blur it, clean it up. and isolate it. Okay. We don't have to track it because it's only one frame. So that's nice. One less thing. Actually, I'm going to remove the table from this. So that's just going to be a matter of bringing this up. And of course, softening it. Always a good idea. Now let's pump up the gain, see what we get. Yeah, it's already feeling better. You can already see it better. But now we've lost all the yellow uh, of these badass lightning bolts. So let's get in here. Just the gain, just the lift. One of the reasons I don't like using a mouse, especially this older version of Resolve, I don't know why, but it just totally jumps whenever you start moving the mouse just a little bit. And it's like everything gets black. I don't get it. Um, what are you going to do? So I need to also isolate this as well. We got to do the same power window situation, maybe a little better than we did the first time around. But okay, so I'm going to add some saturation. Oh, yeah, we definitely needed that. And we're going to double check our vector scope to see where that's landing. So without saturation or contrast adjustments with saturation or contrast adjustments. Now this is really riding the line on broadcast safe. Uh, you'll know you're broadcast safe be because you stay within the, if you draw imaginary lines between all these bounding boxes, that's your, that's your boundary. So when you start moving outside of that, you get out of broadcast safe. Now, did this piece go to broadcast? No. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a nice uh, just reminder of not overdoing it with saturation because you certainly can. Um, you want to be a little careful. 
All right, now I kind of want this node here to be a little less warm because I feel like it's not quite balanced. Oh, it looks like it got stuck in, in this when we made that adjustment. So let's undo that. All right, that's better. Going back to my parade. Now I'm just going to go through and just start really getting nitpicky on these adjustments. Let's look at our black label, black uh, portion of the label here. Just a circle will do. And let's make sure that's nice and dark. And I'm going to make this a little less blurry because it's, it, you can just feel it getting soft. this as well. Okay, I want to clean up this section here. So I'm just gonna just the luminance. There we go. Nope, too much. We're gonna make that its own node. So let's get in here. We just want the brightest bits. starting to bleed in so let's do a power window and just really dial it in we just don't want that to stick out quite so much in terms of it being just off from the rest of the piece So let's go back to blurring this up a bit. Maybe that'll help. Or honestly, it's not a bad idea just to pull this out and make it softer. I hate that I made this extra point here. I don't need it. It's already feeling a bit better. So that's where we were. This is where we are now. It's feeling much uh, more defined, much more noticeable. Uh, I say poppy a lot, but you know, it's poppier. Um, now I, I'm feeling like I need this yellow as well. That uh, seems to be begging for attention. So let's take a look and this is how I color as well <clears throat> uh, not everyone goes node by node just saying hey this needs more or this needs less or whatever uh, a lot of people use node trees which is pretty much just laid out every tool that they might want to use as a preset in, in the in, in nodes so it looks like a very large node tree and they just pick and choose what they want to use and what they don't. They turn things off and turn them on. I, that's not really how my brain works. I'm The way I like to color is I just do the initial correction and then I just start looking for the bits and pieces that need adjustment. To me, that feels like I'm working with the camera instead of trying to fit the look in with what I want. I want it to look good in the way that the camera exposed it. 
the way the DP wanted it, the way it was intended. And just, I try not to fight the machine. I try to work with the machine and with the tools that I have. So that's, that's me. This is how I work. This is how my brain works. I just, what's missing? What needs adjustment? And you can see it reflected here in the node graph. All right, so we got this keyed. Let's give it some, give it some attention. Nice. All right, there you go. This is the rectifier can. So that is a product shot, you know, no matter what kind of product I've worked on, it's always taken this level of detail to make them look great. And, you know, that's how you bring the life out of these products is to just adjust them bit by bit until they start really popping off the screen. So people want to buy them. And in this case, drink them. <laughs>